Joining me to discuss Tuberville's comments is his predecessor, the former senator from Alabama, Democrat Doug Jones. He's also a former United States attorney who took on the KKK and prosecuted two of the men responsible for the 1963 bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham. He's the author of Bending Toward Justice, the Birmingham Church Bombings that Changed the Course of Civil Rights. Uh, senator, good to see you. I don't normally bring you in to talk about politics on this level, but this, this does need some clarification because because Senator Tuberville was given lots of opportunities to clarify it himself, including by our own reporter. This is a layup. This is not hard. Saying that you don't like white nationalists, and white nationalists shouldn't be in the military, this is, I don't even know that that's complicated in Alabama. No, it's not complicated in Alabama, and it's only complicated by the fact that he's putting a hold on all of these nominations. But, you know, uh, Ali, you, you, you left out one important piece of, of his history. This was, this was a man that, when he was running for the U.S. Senate, did not even know what the Voting Rights Act was. He thought it was some kind of security issue or something for elections. It, it has been this history. So it, it's hard to get somebody to walk back and clarify when they really have no clue about what they're talking about. And on the one hand, talking and complaining about the military and affecting readiness because of uh, policies in the military, while on the other hand, he is affecting readiness every day by withholding his um, uh, consent to move toward 150 so uh, nominations that are on the Senate floor. And, and this is a real issue that, as I said, a bipartisan group of, of defense secretaries have come out. And a lot of people in the military have said, like, it's really an issue. This is a, we are a nation right now that's involved in conflicts or the prevention of conflicts all over the world. Um, this is not an abstraction. Tommy Tuberville seems to think that there's some relationship between his making a political statement about uh, the military and, and abortion and... Uh, you know, and, and, and the fact that we are actually involved in multiple wars across the country, across the world. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly right. And he says he doesn't want that, that the Defense Department is politicizing the military, but it's, it's Senator Tuberville who is politicizing the military by using culture wars uh, to do this. The military, you have to rely on, on the military uh, commanders to do what they think is appropriate for a military that is more diverse than his father's military, has more women in it than his father's military. And we have to adapt to the military that we have today, not John Wayne in a, night, in a World War II movie. We have to make sure that we do those things necessary. And the fact is, it's not only, I think, hurting uh, the United States and the military, it's ultimately going to hurt Alabama in a state that has a lot of military assets, a lot of military personnel, a lot of federal dollars that come into that. People are going to remember this uh, if he doesn't go ahead and let this go through. Let me go back to this white nationalism question. He, uh, Tommy Tuberville is not a, um, <clears throat> it's not a civil rights lawyer. That's not his background. Uh, but growing up in Alabama, being of a certain age, what's the likelihood that one doesn't have a, a relatively good understanding of, of white nationalism? I, I'm, I'm not sure that a grown man should be confusing the two things. He's saying that calling Trump supporters and, and, and MAGA people is the same, uh, calling you know, th th that they're being called white nationalists. I, I'm not sure that's, I don't think that's true at all. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. But remember, he didn't grow up in Alabama. I'm not even sure he lives in Alabama right now. He just has an apartment in, in Auburn uh, where he has his, quote, residence. So I, I don't know if he has this kind of history. You cannot simply do what he did as a coach uh, and coach athletes that happen to be athletes of color and claim to be some uh, more progressive and in favor of civil rights. The fact of the matter is, he has this history of saying these things, and the the white nationalism has been on the uh, uh, the country's radar. Forget Jim Crow, uh, Alley. Forget all of that that happened in the 60s. Let's just talk about what happened since Charlottesville and how that has been on the the radar since then. Look at what happened. I think it was yesterday where you had the Patriot Front walking around the Capitol with their yep. their ski mask and their sunglasses. Uh, there is no one that is, is paying attention in America today that should not know what not white nationalism means and what a threat that that means to the United States military and the country. Senator, good to see you as always. Thank you for joining us this morning. The former Democratic senator from Alabama, Doug Jones. We always appreciate your time, sir.